Well, Fair Share is a charity that, as we've talked about, that um, really tackles food waste. But not only that, it re the food reaches people that are vulnerable and they need support. And I know that charities such as myself and churches, we do quite um, a lot of work and we do reach people that need the food. But actually, we couldn't afford that ourselves. If we were to go to a supermarket, pay 200 quid, uh, we'd get hardly anything. So we need charities like Fair Share. Uh, there's quite a lot of things going on every single day. So we've got some chefs in the kitchen. So they're in there cooking hot meals. And we give out quite a number of hot meals a day. So what's cooking? Um, so today we're making a Mexican stew. We've got some chicken that we marinated with a load of spices and tomatoes. And I roast that off in the oven. And then add it to the onions and the garlic that we've got on the hob. And we're going to throw some veg in there as well. Anna, why did you feel it was important to volunteer during, during this crisis? Um, well, it's just loads of vulnerable people that need um, feeding and um, there's loads of ingredients, loads of fresh food that would otherwise go to waste. So um, it's a good thing to have to volunteer to put, put the two together. It's keeping us busy whilst we're furloughed from, from Sheffield usually. Um, but it's a good thing to do too. There's a lot of uh, vulnerable people that would otherwise go without food. Um, I'm sandwich making today. Uh, I've made 40 or 44 already. I've got a vegan here and then it'll be some more for the vegetarians. Well, I think people need to be supported to be able to move on in their lives. And when they haven't got the facilities, then we need to provide for them. And uh, Fair Share's ability to produce, to provide food that we can actually take out is brilliant. With COVID-19, the most vulnerable are the ones that are actually going to be the hardest hit. So Manchester City Council and many of our charities that generally work in homelessness um, got together and, and realised that actually they, that they need to be indoors, that it's not safe for them to be outside. We were all told to stay in, weren't we? Yeah. How can you stay in when you sleep on the streets? So funding was made available for people to go indoors. But, but sadly, the kitchens in the hotels weren't open and there wasn't any cooking facilities at all. And uh, there was no food. So that's when quite a few local charities got together and decided that actually we need to provide them with food. We can't expect people to stay in and not feed them. The, the churches are, are in the heart of communities, aren't they? There are churches around and we have resources. We have resources in building. Not only that, in, we have um, that, that spirit that God is within us, that we are the hands and the feet of Jesus. It's us. It's down to us to actually... Uh, pull the resources together and to reach the most vulnerable. That's what Jesus did. Uh, we get hardly anything, so we need charities like Fair Share. We need them. Um, and we wouldn't be able to do the work, frankly, that we do if we didn't have their support. So I would say if you've got spare cash, and not a lot of people have at the moment, but if you do, then please uh, consider giving it to Fair Share because they make such a difference in so many people's lives.